Listen carefully to the passage. After that, answer the questions that follow the reading. You should choose the correct answer for each question. Good luck. This passage is about roads. Many people would assume that the smooth flow of traffic in urban and suburban areas is highly dependent on street designs that incorporate regulations for vehicles and pedestrians. As it turns out, this may not be the case after all. A type of street design called a woonerf, the Dutch term for living street, operates under quite a different philosophy. A woonerf is a paved street area with practically no signs, lines, traffic signals, or curbs. It seems counterintuitive that the absence of typical traffic markings could lead to safer streets with fewer accidents and even enhanced traffic flow, yet it seems that it does. Street markers serve to create an artificial sense of safety. But in fact, they actually make roads less safe because drivers tend to feel that they do not need to be as cautious or pay as much attention if they have signs and markers telling them what to do. Removing markers creates an ambiguous environment for drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians, causing them to pay more attention to their surroundings and requiring them to interact more with each other by making eye contact more frequently, in effect, making streets appear to be more dangerous, actually makes them safer, promoting a cooperative balance among the users. The implementation of this plan has brought positive results. One town in England that recently removed white lines from roads saw a 35% decrease in the rate of accidents and a 5% drop in average driving speed. First introduced in the 1970s in the Netherlands, where they are still common, living streets can also be found in Germany, Denmark, and Switzerland. And they are becoming more popular throughout Europe and the US by taking into account humans' response to apparent danger. These shared spaces are able to create an environment where humans function well. Now let's answer the questions. What is the main purpose of this passage? A. To discuss how the idea of the Wunerf was developed. B. To describe an innovative road design. C. To promote Wunerf use in places with no road signs. D to show how traffic markers are detrimental. In the last sentence of paragraph one, which word could best replace enhance, a connect, b improve, c repair, d heal? According to the passage, what can create ambiguity for drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians? A, uh, making eye contact with each other, no lines on the road. C, too many cars on the road, confusing signs. According to the author, how does a Wunerf make people act? A more ambiguous lib, more awkward lick, more cooperatively, more independently. What effect does a Wunerf have on traffic speed? A. There is no effect on traffic speed. B. Traffic goes faster in some places and slower in others. C. Traffic moves faster. D. Traffic moves more slowly. What does the author suggest is humans' response to apparent danger in a to act more quick lib, to act more cautiously. C. To act more aggressively, to act more impulsively. All the answers are available on the attached commentary. Check them out and tell us how many did you get right. See you soon. And thanks for taking part in our video. Speak out.